Hey guys, Jack here. I hope you guys are having a great day. And today we're doing a little sales update on my print on demand journey because quarter four is kicking off and my Amazon sales are actually just blowing me away right now. And I just want to share this with you guys and add it to my print on demand journey because I think it's interesting and I think you guys are also going to find it interesting. And of course, at the end of the month, I'm still going to have a report on my earnings for the fourth month of print on demand and this month is by far already the biggest month so i'm super excited because this month already i've made more money than my previous three months and it's only 10 days into the month so i'm going to share with you guys right now uh, my past couple days and where i'm at and yeah i hope you guys are just excited as i am all right so here we are on my merch by amazon dashboard this is where, where i want to start for this update and pretty much as you can see here last night i actually woke up to 14 more sales because i went to bed at about at about nine and when i woke up well i seen 14 more sales and that made me really excited and i wanted to share this with you guys again it's all basically this one shirt that i've uploaded um, on a christmas trend and it's taken off in the past week so in the past 10 days i've gotten 50 sales from mainly that one design and a variation of that design and i'm just super grateful that i was able to get some sales and with 50 sales now or 53 total i believe i'll be able to get uh, eligible to tier up to tier 500 possibly and by the time i do get to that point where i'm on tier 100 waiting to be tiered up to 500 i'm sure i will be at um at least 60 sales by then so now it's just a matter of time waiting to be tiered up from tier 10 to tier 25 to tier 100 because I can go straight to tier 100 pretty much uh, with this amount of sales. And then once I get there, I'll just be able to scale even further. And as you guys can see, I've made $101 this month. Um, that's US currency. And I live in Canada, so that converts over to like $130, which is pretty awesome. And it's just really exciting to see some like big amounts of profit like this because it is sometimes it's hard when you're not seeing any profit and i'm putting in 1500 designs and you only see a few dollars come in however this just makes it even more awesome seeing how profitable amazon is and how much attention my listings are getting with so few listings is really awesome if you guys are wondering why i only have seven products live it's because I went to change the title on some of these and it got rejected and I didn't really want to it wasn't really something that I was selling too much too much of so I ended up just you know not bothering with it I just deleted it and moved on so that's why I'm at seven products live now uh, I'm definitely gonna fill the slots back up I have plenty of designs to be put onto the market and yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that's why I only have seven slots filled all right, and then in terms of Redbubble sales, as you guys can see, November 1st to November 6th, I've been making a lot of sales on Redbubble. I'm pretty sure this is because of the promotions they're offering and just a lot of my designs are snowballing a bit. They've made a sale before, so they're making more sales, which is just the great thing about print on demand is once you make one sale, you usually make a few more because people actually get to see the design, so more eyeballs seeing your design. And every day, pretty much this month so far, I've made a sale in Redbubble. Some of them aren't a lot of money. However, just seeing sales coming in every day is awesome. And this is just going to add to my monthly profits. Only 10 days into November and I'm already killing it more than I was last month. So I'm super excited and I just wanted to share that with you guys. And then, last but not least, we have Teespring. And here's the thing. Teespring is not going so well. I'm not sure uh, if it's me or if it's Teespring. Well, I'm actually pretty sure it's Teespring. They just don't seem to be advertising my designs very much at all, just a small portion. And when they do, it's through the boosted network. So I'm making like a half of the amount of profit that I should be making off these items. Um, in comparison to Redbubble, it's very, very slow. And I've only made a few sales from them promoting my designs. So moving forward now i'm gonna make a separate video on all the reasons why 
But moving forward now, I'm going to stop using Teespring. I can always go back and upload designs. However, I'm going to be focusing on Redbubble and TeePublic mainly and Merch by Amazon. But on the daily, because I don't have upload slots on Merch by Amazon right now to upload every day, I'm just going to be focusing on Redbubble and TeePublic because that's, to me, the uh, most m efficient use of my time compared to Teespring. And I just wanted to keep you guys updated on all my choices here and my journey because the point of these videos is really just to show you guys that like it's not just like one decision do this every day for seven months like no I'm still thinking about everything and I'm still making choices um, you know trying to see my options trying to learn new things every day and just find new ways to do things and better ways to do things so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. It would mean a lot. Just smash the like button. Just smash it. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.